You see, what is happening in Nigeria now, some people don't know what we have passed through in those days. And a slight statement in this country now cause a harm. For example, go to high institution. Go see how Igbo's houses, all ways of tribes, living together. That is number one. Number two, go to intermarriage. You see Absas marry Igbo, Igbo marry Absas, Yoruba marry Igbo, Yoruba marry Absas. If you ask them to go, where are those people going? Please, people should mind their words. We are living in peace. Despite we are living in austerity. That idea of saying Absa say Igbo should go to their place is a political uh, 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 this, uh, 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 talk. Hausa cannot say Ibo should live. Hausas are living in Ibo. Ibos are living in Hausas. They should not use the, uh, this Biavra, uh, uh, something to destabilize Nigeria. Onya se la ben ne ya. One shake shake. One shake no amare bos. Obo onye na amare bos ko na basi ala bo jana ajia. So ye na gwandi Ibo ni no ne ba ahu. I say halaba, hala, hala. No one hear We are Biafra, and we cannot deny it. I ain't got here denying. I won't be Biafra. I ain't get so hear them men now. Lagos, I'm on. Hear them men are not. We check for a banish. How could do hala? Even now, can no one could in Abba my name live on? No, no, no. Could I Lagos? I go and make. Where is he? My name. Both man, they want not. Not man, they no Lagos. He ain't in Abba Zibu. But I know no. If we judge our father, we see what hala. Monday, oh, but I pack our one naira. Half one naira anya. If we judge anya, I go run a way anya. Half because they can, all the ones can do. But I talk about him. Half maybe we can, maybe half we don't want to get. Maybe maybe can. What they are saying that means they want this division to be actualized. Because telling Igbos to leave northern land means Igbo is no more part of Nigeria. And if you look at the agitation of Biafra, Biafra, well, it's, uh, for me, it's an, uh, if they insisted that we should leave, then we should know that we are not Nigeria. Actually, we've been praying for us to go back to our place. But if they will force us, we want it in a peaceful way. But if they want it in this way, that means they are making room for it. And it's, I've been, uh, I would say it's a prayer answer. So you know, say me are the Lagos now. And the other people, people, people where they say, Giafra, Giafra. Me are not supposed to say, I was a people tell them, Ibo, make you leave you not to come your country, uh, your site. Make you all of the day. Like you are day before. You know, say, now you go. Make you me and you to go here, to here, you go there. Now you go. Nobody say, and this one, go there, go there. Me are no one that one. Me are not supposed to that one. I will make all of the day together. All this one way to talk. Me and also about my people say, make the talent double show up or not. No, make you live all of the make it day. Me say the Lagos now. If you don't tell me, say, okay, make you go north now. Say, me and I go. So me and also about them. I will make all of the day together. It's very, very, very wrong. Because Ivo and House are all we are Nigerians. So we work together, we live together. This is an Ivo man. I'm a house man. We live together, we work together. He's my best friend. I like him, I love him, I love his friends, with him, family, everyone. They just don't want us to be together. They don't want this country to be one. So if they ask us to leave, definitely we are going to leave. And if they ask not on us to leave too, then we'll leave. It is sometimes they don't cease to understand what's going on here. They are telling us to leave. If we decide to break now, they will go through hell. They will go through what I call serious hell. The Emir of Kano has been warning them not to allow these guys go, which is Samu Sanu Silamido. If they go, they will go through hell. They are trying to do is like they are trying to cause a war, and which is not a good one. So in Lagos, if anybody tells you you have to leave, or you have to give instance, and you have to run for your dear life force and see what is going to happen. So that is my own point of view. You don't have to remain in the place and you want to see until even they cut up your head before you start running. People, they also stay in Igbo land. You don't have to tell them to go. There is a due process. Even if you want them to leave your state or something, there is a due process. 
I have in the news that the governor was telling them to stay, that he gave them assurance about security or things like that. But for me, in my own point of view, I have to go defense first uh, because it's not 100 percent. If you even look at in this environment right now, if all those area boys can come up and try to throw things around, um, you have to run. Well, I don't support that motion. I don't support it at all because we want peace in Nigeria. So our leaders to do one thing, to bring peace in this country. I believe there is hardship. That's why you see these people fighting each other. Uh, as you are seeing me, so I like enjoyment. So if anybody is enjoying, I don't think we will have time to be fighting. It's because we have hardship in this country. So all these leaders should do something about it. We don't have problem down here, but up there, they have problem. They are living in a hardship. So they should do something. All this problem comes from our leaders because people are hungry. If you are not hungry, you won't be harsh. So people are hungry. So they need something quickly. Our, our Nigerian of these days, there's freedom of our humanity. You know, the Yibo, they, they started themselves as in calling Biafra, 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 whatever. So if Aousa should call them to go, as in, uh, it seems they also they don't want to be part of Nigeria because majority carry the votes. Because if we are talking of Nigeria, we are one to face reality. But because of the way Igbo people do do, they they call their Biafra Biafra for long that they want uh, they want freedom for themselves. But as for me, uh, to face reality, uh, Aousa does not need such a kind of approach because we are Nigerian. Perspective is their choice. They have their, their state, they have their land. So if anybody says we should not stay with him, I don't think we will force ourselves to be there. Do you think they have, they have made their choice about uh, talking about one Nigeria? They have made their choice. People won't be a, it shouldn't should be a threat to Northern states. Because without Northerners, we can live. With Northerners, we can live. We believe in struggles. You understand? So I don't think it's a threat to Northerners. How many Northerners have they seen buying land in Igbo land, building houses in Igbo land? Actually, coming to Nigeria is Igbo that, that maintain that one Nigeria. Because we find any place we find ourselves, we make a, a, that place a home. But others are not like that. It's, it's, it's their own disadvantage. It's a lesson to them. I'm sorry. To the brother. Then they say they want to go to Brafa by force. Our president don't allow them to go to Brafa. You understand? They didn't remember 1970. They did That time, if they realize the war, they cannot talk to want to go back to Brafa. No man, they can live north. They can live north. They waited for east. They can leave east come back to their own place.